Hello YouTube. It's the old Alderpold. Hope you're all doing all right. Hmm. Well, I've not long, long got in from. Uh, I was out on a job today doing uh, oh, pre site pre commencement meeting with some contractors that I've got working for me. Um, but uh, beautiful day to be out in the woods. I was a bit too busy to bring you a video from out there, so um, just one from my front room. But hmm. I wanted to give a first impressions video, um, something that I've I've wanted to try for a while, but I never got around to it. I'm smoking it right now. Well, I'll talk about it in a minute. I'll just give you some first impressions of it. Now, many of you will be familiar with uh, St. Bruno, uh, which uh, is an iconic uh, British blend. Um, been around for a very long time, and with good reason, because it's damn fine tobacco. Um, actually, I've got a bit of a collection on the shelf over there. I won't turn the laptop around because it's a pain in the bum. Uh, but of old St. Bruno tins, amongst other things. But I've got, I seem to have an inordinate number of particularly St. Bruno ones that go back probably over the last hundred years. Um, so... Hmm. St. Bruno was originally made by Ogdens of Liverpool. And another blend that was also made by Ogdens of Liverpool um, was Gold Block. Now, I may be wrong in thinking, or I may be right in thinking, I think they're made by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group now, but I could be, as I say, could be wrong about that. In any case, here in the UK, um, they are two blends that you can still buy over the counter in supermarkets. Now, the reality is that the vast, vast majority of pipe tobacco uh, that you get now is um, really, you know, you buy it online. There are only a couple of things you can buy in the supermarkets. One of them is St. Bruno, uh, ready rubbed and flake. One of them is Gold Block, the other is Clan, um, and you can get the um, Mellow Virginia or um, Special Virginia, as I think it's now called, something like that. Oh, yeah, and Condor. You can get Condor ready rubbed as well. So, really, you've got about five blends you can buy over the counter. Everything else you have to go to a specialist online tobacco store for. But Those two blends that I mentioned first, the Gold Block and the St. Bruno, um, have for many, many generations uh, been mixed um, in a 50-50 ratio into what people call Ogden's mixture. And although obviously the tobacco, uh, neither tobacco is made by Ogden's anymore because it doesn't exist, um, it's got that name Ogden's Mixture because at one time in our history, when we actually did things over here in the UK, um, instead of outsourcing everything, uh, we actually used to make tobacco uh, in that factory. So anyway, so the other day I bought uh, some gold block and I bought a packet of St. Bruno. Uh, now the gold block these days only comes in a 40 gram pouch, not a 50 gram pouch for some reason, I don't know why. Whereas all of the other tobaccos you generally get in a 50 gram pouch. Um, and the idea is you mix them together, 
50-50 ratio um, and you make this Ogden's mixture this sort of genuine British Codgers blend you could call it that as I say I've, I've read a lot of reviews of the stuff um, I've, I've uh, I did a fair bit of research before I decided it would be a worthwhile experiment um, and these are my results it's shit so what I've got here is the end result and this has been stewing in the jar for a little under a week now but first thing I noticed was although the gold block um, only comes in the 40 gram pouch it's really big and fluffy uh, once you once you take it out of the pouch it's really really big and fluffy the end result when mixed with the St Bruno and I didn't take off the extra 10 grams of St Bruno I mixed the St Bruno in regardless so in actual fact it ended up as a you know slightly slightly higher ratio of St Bruno the St Bruno gets completely lost in the gold block totally disappears um, you can see a few dark strands in there maybe of the St Bruno but really not very much at all now I have to say I was never inclined to try smoking the gold block on its own uh, never been interested in buying it for the simple reason is I've heard far too many horror stories about it as a blend um, it's harsh it smokes hot um, you know it's sort of relatively flavorless um, and I have to concur with those but that's not based on um, smoking the gold block on his own that's actually based on even mixing it with St Bruno so uh, my my review of the Ogden's mixture um, this iconic if you're British anyway this iconic mixture of two originally from Ogden's uh, tobaccos St Bruno and gold block is that it's crap to me it's an absolute waste of good quality St Bruno that's a tobacco you can't go wrong with can't go wrong with St Bruno great stuff wonderful stuff you mix it with gold block forget about it it's total waste of money because the resulting mixture burns hot bites like a motherfucker and and really has very little flavor um, so I posted on the um, Pipe Club of London's page Facebook page the other day I asked about it after I'd mixed it as to whether or not it's worthwhile just leaving in a jar and forgetting about for a while let those flavors sort of mix because when you go on to tobaccoreviews.com and look up Ogden's mixture you'll find a lot of people that say well you know leave it in the jar for a few weeks or whatever and it's just sublime wonderful stuff well Our own good friend Token Tommy, um, he made a comment on that post to the effect that, uh, mm, well, what I suspected myself, that it's a waste of good St. Bruno. Because the gold block basically dominates. And although I'm smoking this in a 7 uh with a 6mm balsa filter in it, I'm still getting tongue bite from this. So, yeah. Um, I suspect that the reason that it became a bit of an iconic, so to speak, homebrew um, blend and that it's long known as being so, a, a sort of staple of the uh, English pipe smokers diet is because it's two very common over the counter blends and if you didn't have a great deal of money if you mixed 
something like the gold block uh, which is really fluffy you know it really kind of fluffs out um, so you get more what looks like more volume of tobacco it kind of made your tobacco last longer so I suspect it was something like that St Bruno was good um, but people mix it with the uh, the gold block to basically make make their backy last longer I suspect there's probably a reason like that but perhaps one of you uh, uh, more mature um, and uh, refined smokers out there uh, in the British community might be able to enlighten me as to whether or not that's the case all I can say is that unfortunately I think you know I'm gonna leave this jar on my shelf probably I'll forget about it now I'll totally forget about it I'm literally only smoking this bowl now for the purposes of this video um, and I'll come back to it in a couple of months maybe and try it again but I strongly suspect that my opinion won't have changed that much because um, yeah there's nothing about gold block that is in the slightest bit attractive to me the moment I open the pouch and it was just yeah I'm not gonna like that tobacco I know I'm not you just get that feeling about something uh, but yeah for the sake of science I sacrificed a perfectly good pouch of St Bruno to prove that point yeah just immediate harsh tongue bite uh, it's sour um, I don't suspect the room room note is very good I get a little hint of the St Bruno but it's kind of masked by this uh, overtly hot um, yeah this overtly hot and generally bland flavorless kind of uh, yeah kind of I wouldn't even call it a flavor from the um, from the gold block so yeah um, it was supposed to be a quick review but it's almost 15 minutes long by all means give it a go if you've got money to burn but my advice would be just stick to some Bruno it's far far superior and why gold block is still a staple um, and over the counter blend available in supermarkets I have no idea because I don't know anybody who smokes the crap well it's uh, April the 6th and uh, I'm just looking out my window and I've got snow coming down outside <laughs> That's it anyway, you folks take care um, and I'll catch you all again soon. Ta-ta.